Welcome to my week six battle versus Fire Muffin. Uh, doing a team breakdown here, and it's actually my first time recording a team breakdown before the battle, just because usually I forget. So, to quickly go over the team. Okay, so my opponent's team is Walking Wake, Torkoal, Galarian Slowbro, Hisui, and Lilligan, Togekiss, Corviknight, Cerulege, Sandy Shocks, Low Kicks, Hisui, and Electrode, and Galarian Corsola. So, looking at those Pokemon, um, Iron Valiant looked really good. Especially with just the three moves of Moonblast, Knockoff, Thunderbolt. That pretty much hits everything. Um, at least neutrally. Uh, Knockoff is only there for the Galarian Corsola, but I have to get rid of that Mons Eviolite. Uh, I didn't necessarily need a fourth move. I was thinking of things maybe like Encore. Um, but I ultimately decided that Destiny Bond would just work on just taking something out last second if I really needed to. Because uh, this is going to outspeed most of his team besides Lilligant under Sun. And that uh, becomes pretty apparent with my team that Lilligant under Sun is one of the harder things for me to deal with. Um, which is the only reason that Scizor is on the team. Scizor loses to Walking Wake, Torkoal, Slowbro. It can lose to Fire Move from Togekiss. It gets walled pretty well by Corviknight. Um, so, like, yeah. Scizor's playing an uphill battle here, but it shuts down Hisui and Lilligant, and that's that's all it's here for. Um, Bullet Punch, U-Turn are just pretty standard moves. We're going to pretty much be U-Turning out mainly with this thing because, it, like I said, it gives us a huge disadvantage just because it's weak to all of the fire moves. And our opponent has Sun, so Scizor will get melted. Um, and then just Roost for heal, physically defensive because Lilligant is a physical attacker. Next we have Vanillux, and this is probably the most fire set I've brought all season. So, if we go to the stats here... This is literally a minimum speed of Vanillux. Minus nature, zero IVs, and it's holding an Iron Ball to half its speed. Um, this will underspeed Torkoal if it's not running a minus nature so that we can get our snow up over Torkoal's sun. Because how weather works is the slower Pokemon ultimately gets the weather because the faster one goes first and then the slower one goes second and the second one is what the weather will be and so if i can under speed torkoal i will be able to have snow up uh like i said the only way he, the torkoal will under speed is if it's a minus speed nature but considering its speed ties with claude tire it doesn't want to lose that um so i don't think it should run a minus speed nature so where we have veil weather ball to try to catch something like a with a fire move like hisui and lilligan on a switch maybe uh, ice Beam and for just general Ice Stab if we don't have Hail Up for Weather Ball. And then Freeze Dry is just there for the Walking Wake. Next we have Rotom Heat. Uh, I've brought this a similar set to this. The Overheat Discharge Pain Slit Defog. This is just a good switch into a few things like Togekiss, Corviknight, uh, and Sandy Shocks. This will always outspeed Togekiss if it's not Choice Scarf. So we don't have to deal with getting flinched down by a Serene Grace Togekiss. Next we have Choice Scarf Miascarada. Uh... I didn't really know who to bring in my sixth slot. I was really struggling. Uh, so Meowth Grata, I guess, came because it's the fastest mod on my team. So being able to outspeed a lot of his team members, um, like the Walking Wake especially, was good to have. Because I don't want to send out my Iron Valiant too early in the battle. So this will be used early on to break things. Knockoff is there for things like the Galarian Corsola, General Stab. Uh, Thunder Punch is mainly just there for the Corviknight, as well as the Togekiss. And then U-Turn, just because like we're Choice Scarfed, so gotta switch out and last but not least we have choice specs hisui and zoroark this is just here to hit as hard as possible um in the late game uh hyper voice and shadow baller stabs hit mainly everything besides the corviknight which gets hit by flamethrower and then we just have trick to maybe give the the corviknight or the torkoal um a choice specs because they wouldn't appreciate that but uh we're gonna hop into the battle hope you enjoy okay here we are with the week six battle versus fire muffin um, if you missed the team breakdown or like, skipped it, uh, really quickly just want to say, my Vanillux is meant to underspeed his Torkoal because it has Iron Ball. The only way it doesn't if it's a minus nature, so we're about to find out. They always lead Torkoal. Please work because otherwise I'm wasting an item slot for nothing. Oh, well, I have to disguise Zora work too. Uh, Miascarada always. Whoops, 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 whoops. We always disguise it as Miascarada, that's just the best. He got sent out first, so <clears throat> it worked. He's not a minus speed nature. Holy crap, the iron ball paid off. No sun off start. Let's go. W. Okay. 
We now go Rotom on this. All right. And we can just let a discharge rip here. If you go Sandy Shocks, that's all right. We'll just uh, overheat because he can't really touch us either. That's fine. I'm actually going to pain split here just to get a little health back. He might set up Stealth Rocks. We have Defog though, so that doesn't matter. Power Gym. Didn't know it got that. Okay. Um, I'm going to go Scizor here then. Is that choice damage in any way? That's actually like, it's not even, uh, modest. Wow. That's, a, that's not doing a lot, man. It's kind of shocking. We'll just U-turn out here. How much does Spec Zoroark do to this? I have a chance to kill with Hyper Voice, but it's not a role that I want to take right now. Do I go Rotom Heat here? I think I go Rotom Heat. Because even if they go out into... Overheat actually does more here in the sun than Discharge does. So we're gonna Overheat. And we connect, so that's Sandy Shocks down. Awesome. Walking Weight comes out. We can make this thing less threatening very quickly by just going Vanillux. Uh, he probably Hydro Steams here, but it won't get the boost. That does a decent chunk. Um, I'm just gonna switch here on a possible Rotom. I don't know if or a possible Torkoal, sorry. Uh, I don't know if they would stay in here. I could also go just Meowth Karata and just U-turn. That's not a horrible play. Oh, I have the timer on, let me turn that off. I didn't even think about it, we've just been going. Yeah, I don't think they would stay in here, so I don't wanna freeze dry. I'll go Meowth Karata. They do stay in. Ooh. We guarantee out speed here. Play rough does pick up the kill. So we're gonna we're gonna click it. Corviknight comes out. Is it Rocky Helmet? No Rocky Helmet, okay. I'm gonna go Rotom here. Rotom is really good in this matchup of just keeping things at bay. It sucks that Meowth Karata took all that damage, but it is okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, I can freely paint split here. I am at such a low amount of HP comparative to everything else on his team that I will always gain health. Especially on a Torkoal. Thank you. Alright, we are going to just let another overheat rip here. And then I'm going to sack Meowth Karata here. Or I can just go Vanillux. Trying to think what's better. I don't want to lose Vanillux yet just because of the choice scarf. So we'll just go straight into this. Goes down. And then we'll just U-turn out here. Or we can knock off. I'm gonna knock off. I can no longer get rid of the sun, but that's all right. At least we limit his turns. This, this will be a set of eight though. Go Rotom here. Oh, I forgot to link the game. Whoops. Okay. Uh, still going for Eruption even at half health. Maybe there's no other attacking movie he has. 
Oh, I'm gonna discharge here. Let's get a para on this walking weight because this thing is now a threat. Perfect. All right, uh, we go Meowskar out of here. Oh, full para is fantastic. That's really, really good here. We're gonna Thunder Punch. Now that he's a pure water type, it is super effective. That was a huge para. I wonder if he stay. He probably doesn't stay in here. I'm gonna U-turn. No weak armor, so flash fire. Um. Ah, huh, I didn't expect that. Okay. Let's go, I can go Rotom here. I can go Iron Valiant. And just start clicking buttons. How much does Iron Valiant do to Torkoal with a Thunderbolt? Not enough. I need a little bit more damage on that Torkoal. Hmm. How does Rotom look? Rotom's all right here. I just don't want to go Zoroark because he's going to know it's Zoroark. But then again, like, sh what's your Shadow Wall switch in? He doesn't have one. Shadow Ball is so strong right here. Uh, he should know this is Zoroark just based off of Rotom is not at full health. Maybe he wasn't paying attention though. That, that's very possible. I can't tell. So, I should be faster than this. Since it's paralyzed, yeah. All right, Zoroark's in. We have uh, one turn of, even if he goes Lilligan, like, I can just go Rotom. Or I can go Scizor, sorry. That's like the whole reason Scizor's here. But yeah, if I didn't have Scizor, this, that Lilligan would be a lot scarier. He goes just out into Cerulege. I, I wanna say, is this Choice Scarfed? Could be. It's probably worth finding out. No, he had no clue that that was not um, Rotom. Okay. He had no idea. That's alright. We'll let this go down. And we'll just go back out into Zoroark. Now, he, he actually believes that this is Scizor, I think. It's not. <laughs> Alright, he only has a couple turns of sun here. I'm gonna Shadow Ball. Okay. Fair enough. So it's choice. Alright, we go out into the Valiant. off here even in the sun bitter blade does not knock me out unless he's adamant it has a chance to I could I should have just went me Oscar out of here Because that would have actually killed, I think. It's alright, but here we are, so. That's what I get for clicking too quickly. I 
I'm really happy that the whole Torkoal, the Deluxe lead thing worked. The Torkoals are so bulky, I couldn't get rid of it fast enough. He's really thinking here. Yeah, knockoff. Knockoff didn't kill. Okay, he's not adamant. But, uh... I don't kill with this knockoff. Unless I crit. <laughs> so, that's unfortunate. I think I lose this, man. I should keep this, I think. I, I mean, I can't, though. Because then I would have to sack Scizor. And... Then this would be at full health. Miascarada yeah, couldn't kill. And the Corviknight's at too much HP for T-Bolt, right? Yeah, okay. I lose. <laughs> I don't want to get... Fuck. Let me Destiny Bond. Holy shit. Well, he can't attack this turn now. That was good for me. Well, if he attacks, he takes me out with him, so... Maybe he switches here? I, I don't know. This is a weird spot. No, he'll take... Okay, he'll just let the Lillian go down with him. Sure. Alright, let's go Meow. Perfect. Don't... I mean, if this has Shadow Sneak, it doesn't kill. Alright, let's get rid of your leftovers here, buddy. Okay, so the, so this I have a chance here now. I go scissor here. I I don't think I win. This is this is really. Wait, I'm just gonna knock off here. That Cerule Edge comes in. It doesn't die. I'm faster. That's a problem. This might kill into, yeah, into Bullet Punch. Okay, so now I think I win. With just Corviknight left, I think I would outroost it. Very close battle. A lot closer than I thought it would be. Yeah, so now we just sit here and play this game. He is damaging himself, so that's good. Roost here. This would be worse if he wasn't damaging himself. It makes it makes it easier on me. So that I'm not roosting as much. Because Brave Bird's hitting pretty hard. Yeah, we both used two roosts so far, so. I just gotta make sure that when I die, this thing is weak. I need to try to not roost or waste any. Like if, if I'm over 50, I'm not roosting, and I don't risk crit there either, which is nice. So, and I, I mean I'm faster anyway. Yeah, we are we are going literally roost for roost. 
I shouldn't run out of knockoffs here. That crit was really nice. Helped a lot. Oh, he's pressure, though. Why is pressure not affecting roosts? Is that not how that works? Didn't know that. Alright, two more, two more. We're right there, come on. That's doing a lot. roost here. Wait, since I have one more. He's out of roosts. I'm not. That's even better. I want to try to keep Sazor alive, though. Just differential. Which I should be able to. I have negative one knockoff. TP it says. Interesting. Yeah, I think I... I yep, because Brave Bird recoil into another... GG's, wow. Long drawn out battle, but it was, it was close. I was a little nervous there at the end. I don't know if the switch um, that he made... I think it was into Lilligant or whatever. Uh, I don't know if that was... The best play, I think that's really what costed him this battle. Because I think I should have lost that. Um, but yeah, GG's Fire Muffin. Um, that was a that was a really really good battle. So, um, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys all later. Goodbye.